If it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. Hey guys, Nick Cardoz with Mr. Yachts and I want to show you this Chaser 500. This is a 50 foot high performance rib that you've got to check out. Made in Holland, one of the nicest ribs I've seen in a long time. Come check it out. All right, so before we get into the details of the boat, I want to tell you a little bit about Chaser Yachts. It's a family owned business. The family's been in the business for a long time and they really know what they're doing. And as they say, if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. And I'll tell you why. So from a rib standpoint, and that stands for rigid inflatable boat, which means you've got a hard hull underneath, rigid hull, and pontoons on, on, on either side. And I explained in the other video of the Panamera that that acts like a, um, it acts kind of like a trimaran hull. You've got a lot of stability, really good performance because it's lightweight, efficient, and you've got the, the hull in the middle, the deep V hull that cuts through the waves with the air that keeps it on top. So what makes these boats really special? Well, first of all, they're 50 feet, which is an enormous size for a rib. And this whole layout can be reconfigured to how you want. It could be a really big sun pad. You can have an additional cabin underneath. But what I like about the construction when they explained everything to me is, so for example, I'll show you this. The tubes are slip on, which means if they get damaged or they need to be repaired or replaced, all you have to do is slide them off and you can slide them back on. That's a really good feature because if the tubes go bad, you don't have to get a new boat, you just replace the tubes. So that's very smart. And look how they design the cushions. They're very ergonomic, so when you lean them back, it's not a right angle. It just feels really good being on this boat. And let me show you something that I really appreciate from a boater's perspective. So you really don't want to have lines touching your tubes because it can damage them. So what they've done here is they've added this post so that you can tie up your lines, tie up your bow without having to tie cleats with the, with the lines rubbing against and chafing the tubes and they put the navigation lights up here, LOPO lights, which are the best, which is a great place because they're the most visible here. All right, let's talk about layout. You've got the big U-shaped couches here, which face aft, and you've got the running couch here, because this is where you want to be when you're going 50 miles an hour, because that's awesome, and of course, the sun pad up here. Now, how many boats have you seen that don't utilize the, the, the foredeck, right? Uh, they did, they figured that out because this is one of the best seats in the house. So let's take a trip aft and I'll show you a little bit more. All right, so coming to the helm, I love the simplicity of this boat because you just don't want to overcomplicate things and they don't need to be so complicated. So you've got a really cool carbon fiber steering wheel, which feels really light. You've got the suicide knob so you can really spin it and you can take these really tight turns. This thing handles like a jet ski or like a fighter jet. Take your pick because I mean, it's a wild ride. Because what I haven't told you yet is that the underwater ship is one of the higher performance hulls that I've seen on a rib as well, because you've got a two-stepped hull which actually adds less resistance underneath the water by adding air pockets underneath. So the boat literally like floats more up onto the water. It's faster and it's more efficient because you need less power to push it through the water. Back to the design of the boat uh, and the simplicity. You've got the three captain's chairs like this, which are cool because they convert into like, you know, good seating or you, or you can, you know, make them like bench seats like this. I love that because you get the versatility. You can open up this area. Sometimes it's like too tight, you know? You're like, you know, kind of like wedge through. So overall, I mean, it's just a really easy boat to manage and maneuver and drive, especially if you're an owner operator and you know, you're the one in charge of the vessel. You don't have many hands on deck. Well, you're in the middle with the center console. So you've got a 360 view around you. You can jump out on either side. Now let's take a quick look at the interior. 
Okay, so like I said before, there's different configurations with this boat. You could configure it with a much larger cabin, have a bigger sun pad up above, but everything in boating is a give and take. You can't just have everything all the time because it doesn't work like that. But, you know, the way this one was built was great because you've got two little couches here. There's a cushion that comes in the middle. You can actually convert this whole area into a, into a, um, into a, a bed. Um, you know, and right now, I mean, you could sleep like this and, you know, you've got a lot of storage space up, up forward and you've got a full head here. So, I mean, it's like a mini condo. It's very cool. Look at the attention to detail. Even on the steps, you've got stainless steel, um, you know, uh, trim on them. That's cool. Now let's talk about the hardtop for a second because I was actually blown away when they told me about the design, but not only does it look good, it's actually very, very strong. No, but the point being is that it can hold a lot of weight. Not that you need to put stuff on top, but it's just good to know that you don't have anything flimsy on, the, on your boat that, you know, if you're going 50 miles an hour, you know, you want your boat to be nice and strong. And when you're hitting those waves, that it's not vibrating and shaking around. So I haven't even gotten to the part yet that the entire boat is painted. A painted boat is better than a gel coat boat. And being that this boat is aluminum, gives it a lot of advantages because aluminum is very strong. You can mold it into different shapes that you can other materials, but you can also paint it and it looks really nice. When a boat's built properly, as they do in the Netherlands, it's a Dutch built boat. And like I said, if it ain't Dutch, it ain't much. And there's a reason that they say that is because they build pedigree brands. They have the best workmanship in Europe and arguably the world and it shows. This boat's two years old and it looks and feels new still. Now that's a sign of quality, if you ask me. Moving back into the aft cockpit, you've got two fridges underneath, which is great for keeping your drinks cold. Seating for six with a high-low table that actually converts into a sun pad too, if you put it down, which is really cool. And it's hard to show you on the video, but the sound system on this thing really bumps. When you've got eight subwoofers and a bunch of kickers, I mean, they really soup this thing up to have a good time. So to lay it out for you, and in layman's terms, right? You've got a 50 foot rib, soft sides, you've got all the performance features that I explained to you. You could probably fit about, I don't know, 25 people on this boat. There's a lot of room. You've got a cabin down below. Uh, you've got three 400 horsepower Merc racing engines on the back, so the thing flies. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just gotta be one of, one of the best uh, day boats that I've seen in a while. I mean, this contends with any of the other day boats out there uh, on the market. I mean, in fact, you know, considering the low maintenance, I, I mean, I'd argue to say that, you know, this is probably one of the ideal boats to have, especially in South Florida. <laughs> Okay, so that wraps up my walkthrough of the Chaser 500 Center console. It's a great boat. Um, you know, please like, share, uh, subscribe. It really helps support the channel. And, you know, let's have a conversation down in the comments below of anything you'd like to know more or see uh, less of. And uh, we made another video. We, we made an interview uh, with one of the owners of the brand. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.